Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode with a lot of shivers it's called Studios, Reviews, Previews and whatever. So right now we're gonna talk today about this beast. It's the newest release from Creature Custer from Canada and it's called The King of Maleficia. Um, and this version I've built is the King of Militia Resplendent uh, this is more diorama-ish uh, like uh, the guys from uh, Creature Custer told me so there's a second version uh, it's called The King of Maleficia Ascendant uh, it's way different because the Resplendent version uh, has this huge portal on its back and you see uh, typically Typically, the style of Creature Custom with a lot of eyes, teeth, and warp twisted facts. And like uh, you can see uh, here, the, the crow hat, or here it's the same, or it's a British hat, or something like that. And of course, a lot of eyes and teeth, and that's a trademark of Creature Custom. And if you have uh, any kid of Creature Custer, you already know that for sure. Uh, like on this book, there's an eye as well. Actually, it's not an eye, but I painted it like an eye. So it's chest piece, it's covered with a crow hat, and I painted it with a green glow, like the same on the, these lanterns uh, that are hanging underneath the book, and of course, his tentacle was. What's added like your sword of the wing uh, and some banners with some I don't know what it's what it is some mythical spells or something like that and of course the uh, two of the lanterns and what you see is there are a lot of minions that are carrying two books but if you see a look closer there's the third minion and He's carrying a book as well it's hard to see and of course the huge portal uh, where he's uh, materialized himself into our world with his large tentacle spreaded wings and my idea was when I started painting and building this big boy uh, to give him a natural flashy feeling so I don't want wanted to use uh, any kind or any too overpowered, overcolored, or saturated colors like blue, green, whatever. So I wanted to, to uh, that he uh, look like natural and that he's some kind of uh, human being, but it's twisted into some chaos like gods or whatever. So this is my try and my version. I painted and the fun fact about the King of Maleficia is that you get the kit with three different hat options and of course you can decide if you if you want the Ascendant or a Resplendent version. So I decided to take the Resplendent version uh, but I get all two other hat options which I show you. This is his first hat option. Uh, with some greenish glow on his side because of the book so you can see there's some light effect that goes straight also uh, from the lanterns to the tentacle and of course from the book itself upwards to his face and this is the second hat, shop, hat option actually it's, this is the correct hat option for the resplendent version some crow uh, birdish bird-like heads uh, that are painted with a bit, little bit bonish with a bone feeling to see his uh, upper and lower jaw and of course some feathers that are covered his head and with some tentacles on the back and what I have to say uh, this kid is really amazing and also it's really crazy to build it took me at least uh, two and a half hours to only build part of the model and of course the base um, I prefer when you start painting this guy start 
um, either with the base or with him. So, and also what I say, uh, to, to suggest is when you start painting, leave this part aside to get better, uh, to paint better between each section and get below the model because you have to turn it around. Uh, there are so many parts you have to paint because even near the ankles you have teeth, you have eyes, you have everything. So I really suggest to leave him off the base to get a better paint job on him. So of course you see some gaps right here and up here of course you know below the hat so if you want them that way you can fill the gaps or you can leave it like that so I'll leave uh, left of these uh, gaps so what I have to say of course on um, the third option um it's a more twisted version seeing you know, some demon hat where flame came out so my intention was to paint them with a greenish glow from out of the smells but the flames or hair whatever it is i don't know i have to uh, to talk to the creature castle crew uh it's uh changing from purple into the black so that it feels more natural from my opinion so and what i did um and actually doesn't Come with the kit is I changed a few options like our positions as well uh, I changed this wing I used a heat gun and bend the wing carefully outside I bend it and I also changed uh, the direction on the tentacles up here and of course these two and the lower one inside there and of course there's another one uh, right there. Ah, jeez. And therefore, the hat. And yeah, where I have to say, oh, I changed the position of the tenting. Actually, this one is uh, on the outside, but I changed, uh, turned it on the inside. Ah, oh, jeez. Um, let me see. Yeah, actually. It's more on the outside, so I uh, did it the same with this one. Just bend it a little bit downwards. And what what should I say? Uh, this is a really an amazing kit. Creature Cost uh, offers to the customers on the 10th of September. There's uh, that's the date where the pre-order starts. So uh, basically. You can do nothing wrong with it, but it's really, really important that you take your time when you start building and painting this one. You have a lot of parts around, uh, let me guess, around 63 or something like that. Over 60, of course. Um, what I also did when I started painting it, I left the part of the wing the tentacle, uh, te tentacle wing. I left this part off. Also, these parts. I only glued the lower part to the model, and I did a, a, did the same on the other side. And when you're working with uh, OSL effects, uh, light source effects, you have to consider where should the light be. Um, I choose the the pillar on the middle of the base to be my light source number one so the light reflections will go straight to the inside of the wing but not on the other side because this wing is too far away so it makes more sense than the light actually the light spreads on both sides but I want it to be only on this side because it's too far away and actually it could uh, paint some lights uh, on his head but for me it doesn't make any sense to do that so I was really really uh, yeah, I don't know the, the correct word for it but never mind um, I hope that you like what you see and um, there are a, a lot of other options from uh, James Wobble as well who painted both versions and monument painting as well 
and some other guy. I'm sorry if I didn't know his name. <laughs> I really appreciate. It. I'm really sorry about this. Um, yeah, I hope you like what you see on this kit. And as I said, the pre-order starts on the 10th of September, and you will find it on CreatureCaster.com. And from what I know is the shipping will start one or two weeks after the pre-order starts. So don't hesitate, get it, grab it, paint it, glue it together and have fun with it. And in this case, uh, I hope you like what you see, you enjoyed what I did. And if you have any kind of question, just feel free to ask uh, and you can reach me out on Facebook, Shadow Skull Studio, and also on Instagram, it's the same, Shadow Skull Studio. Feel free to ask, send me questions, message, commissions, whatever, just feel free to ask. And if you like what I did, just push the button, send me a feedback, I really appreciate that. So, in this case, I wish you all the best. The good in the evening, good good day, good night, whatever, and stay safe, guys, and happy painting.